Hey, it's Holly. Welcome to Living It Country. In today's video, we have a Christmas tour you are going to love. We have Isaac's Rusty Wagon here sharing her 2023 home tour for Christmas filled with DIYs and antiques. You guys are going to absolutely love it. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome to our 2023 Christmas home tour. One of my favorite rooms in my house, my kitchen. My kitchen is my fun space. I always say that when it comes to the seasonal decor, it is always colorful and um, just anything I see that I like, <laughs> if I don't know where I'm gonna put it, it comes into the kitchen because um, this is just have fun and things that make me smile. So you will see a lot of reds, a lot of Joanna Parker, a lot of vintage inspired um, things, a lot of cookie jars. So um, I like red and green at Christmas time together. I like retro, vintage, all of these things remind me of my childhood and being at my grandparents' house. My grandmother always made Christmas so fun. You would come over to her house and Christmas was everywhere. She had taken everything down off her walls and replaced them with giant blow molds and Christmas pictures and she would string Christmas lights up on her walls and she always had Christmas playing on her record player or her um, eight track tapes, <laughs> whoever we might remember those. Um, one thing though, my husband yesterday bought me these cute little fake cookies those are just adorable. And then we have the, um, I'm getting ready to show you one of my favorite things that I made this year is my garland above my kitchen window. I use just a inexpensive piece of garland that I actually had found at Goodwill and I put some lights on it and then I tied on vintage red and white pot holders, cookie cutters, vintage red handle utensils, and then I hot glued some um, ties onto the back of the spice tins and tied them on there. Oh, and then I finished it off with just some red berry picks. And I am just so happy with how it turned out. I think it is so cute. And then the light above there, my husband and I actually found that this past summer at an antique mall for $10. So it is a plug-in light. So we just drilled a hole and put the cord up above the cabinets and plugged it in behind the microwave or above the microwave, I guess I should say. And then for the bottom half of the curtains, I had found a vintage um, Christmas fabric up in my craft room. So I used some hooks and turned them into curtains. 
And by turned, I mean I simply hung them. <laughs> Yes, what I was saying, just that my, my grandparents, they, they just made everything so special during Christmas time. So that is always what I've strived for in my home at Christmas time. Anything that is just fun and makes me smile. And a lot of things make me think of them. And this year at um, the Dollar Tree, they had the cutest aprons. They have the little elf one and the red and white polka dot one, which makes me think of Lucille Ball. <laughs> it has a very, um, I love Lucy feel to it. And then we have a fake book and a candy cane ornament. And so that is what is hanging right inside the back door when you come in. I wish I was better at filming all of this. Hopefully with time, I will get better. And then this is the shelf that I usually have um, my vintage cookie jars in. But I went ahead and added some red and green with them through the season. And this is my peg rack. That is actually an old quilt rack. And I usually have my cutting boards and aprons but also through Christmas, I like to add a little more. So I have some towels and some ornaments and even a little gingerbread coming out of one of the pockets. So there's that. And then here is my little stack of snowmen. Let's go around there and see. I just have them sitting on some old boxes. When I decided to put this old um, child's sled on top this year of my island and then it's just some glass cookie jar um jars from i think walmart and then they're filled with reproduction um glass ornaments i'm actually not sure where those came from i found those this year inside a box and i was like oh didn't know i had those so I added those to the display. And then on this little tree here, I have just little baking tin looking ornaments. vintage green utensils and my favorite salt and pepper shakers are right there. As I've been talking, I forget what I have shown you and what I haven't. So <laughs> If I repeat something, I apologize. So yeah, this is our kitchen. Um, it's still a work in progress, but I do love it at Christmas time. As you leave my kitchen, 
you come into this space right here, which is um, right near the dining room, which we're getting ready to go into. Um, but it's just this little nook. I'm not sure if it's part of the living room or part of the foyer or what it is, but um, it's always a fun little space to decorate. And I recently added the beadboard and the trim and the old window as a header leading into the kitchen. And this year I found this little snow shovel this past summer. It already had the Merry Christmas on it, but I did add the greenery and the ribbon. And then this is also where I keep my old shopping cart, which I decided for Christmas to fill up with my old Santa dolls. And I have added a tree and my mom's um, tree skirt from when she was a little girl. This is what my grandma used to have around the tree. And then there's a just a Christmas sign and a little sprig, a couple of antique um, children's books. you into the dining room and this year on my dining room table I decided to do a sled which is actually my mom's from when she was a little girl and there's some greenery and some lights on there and then I added a wagon an old rusty wagon in honor of Isaac's rusty wagon and a snowman, which my mom actually found this snowman at a yard sale years ago and gave it to me, and it is just so cute. Then I added the little tree and the ornaments. And then on top, I just sort of spread a vintage Christmas tablecloth. And then as you look over here, you will see my old scale that I actually got at a yard, at an auction for $5. I'm guessing no one else wanted to try to move it because it weighs a ton. But I've decorated just with the vintage Christmas box. And then I have a stocking right there and some little touches of Christmas. And then there's some of my yellowware. And there's more inside the cabinet, along with some little ornaments. And this little wall right here, it doesn't have a lot of Christmas on it, but I did add some fake holly, a little towel, and a little Christmas card and a little tiny tree. Now in this room, you will most definitely notice that I am a collector. I love to collect yellowware and old kitchenware and a lot of different things, which you will start to notice as you pour around this room. So there is all of my yellowware in here. And we also have some old brooms stuck here and there. And just little touches of vintage Christmas in there. Summer, redid this dining room 
and um, there's my stack of picnic baskets. I'll try to look at that a little bit better. Um, anyway, I had painted the top and the bottom and I've added the board around the bottom with the pegs. And the original plan was to redo the ceiling also. And unfortunately we have procrastinated and have not got that done yet. So as I'm showing you around, if you happen to notice paint on my ceiling, <laughs> that is why. We have the wood and all that, it's just getting it done. Um, but it'll get done. Probably after Christmas we'll finish up and then this one room will be completely done. baker's cabinet that my mom gave me. We have a vintage sweeper and down below you'll see an old um, dough box with its original lid and a couple of vintage dust pans and then there's some spice boxes and some more old molds up there butter churn and then inside I have some old jars and I've had these fake pies I bought these off of eBay so many years ago and they have held up so good and as far as cleaning them I just run them under water real quick and they come out super clean. I don't soak them in water, but I just run it under there and it takes care of all the dust on them. And then lastly, we have this area right here, which I know there will be quite a few people <laughs> say that my old Santa suit is creepy and that's okay. He's creepy cute. So, the little bag isn't all, I just added that, but the suit and the mask is. And I've just got it on an old hat stand mannequin thing. So it worked out good. And then up here I have a vintage candle that come in that little fireplace box some candy canes and some greenery and then more yellowware over here and some vintage red boots and then this is where I've moved my collection of rolling pins most of them are right there in these two crocks. So, and then we have, I'm not sure if you noticed that, there's like two Santa molds over here. So, and then a little stack of benches. And this wall right here, this is paneling that is made to look like brick. And what I did is I just painted and spackled it and just added a bunch of white um, paint on it and aged it up. And that's how it turned out. I think it turned out pretty good. So. I'm hoping 
that I didn't shake too bad and that the lighting is all right. And you guys are able to see my dining room. our large bow mold Santa that we found last year. I had one of these when I was a little girl and unfortunately someone stole it off my mom and dad's front porch and I have been looking for one for years and last year we actually found one in an antique store in St. Louis. So he stands proudly in front of my grandparents' fireplace mantle, the living room. And here I have some stacked firkins and I just stuck some little trees around. One thing you'll notice is I love baskets. I love boxes. So there will be a lot. I love crocs. You will see a lot of that mixed in with my decor. This fireplace mantle came from my grandparents' home. My uncle went and got it out of their house. Um, for me so I absolutely love it in here every time I look at it I think of them this year I tried a little bit different um, display here I decided to put this trunk in front of the fireplace and my um, blow mold Santa and then I added this little tree the lights aren't showing up that well in the video. Um, there it goes. There it makes it look like they're all lit. But that was a very cute tree that I got from Walmart this year for $35. You can't, you can't beat that. And I did have to add the lights, but still, I think that is a really good price. I'm trying to stay level with my camera. In here I've just added some little trees and a sienna up there on the top. this guy this past weekend. I thought he was really cute. I definitely am not used to filming with the phone or camera sideways. I'm used to doing it up and down. <laughs> I tried something a little different this year with my tree. Um, as I said, I love baskets. So I tried putting some inside here this year. They're not wired on or anything. I just gave them a push. So 
hopefully next day. This is the view into the foyer, which is why I tried to put baskets in my tree this year, is to tie that in, which we will come back to the foyer in a few minutes. Um, I wanted to give a view of the living room from this direction. This year I decided to hang some wreaths up on my old windows that I have on the wall there. I just tied some ribbon and put a couple of flicker candles. is making all kinds of <laughs> noises. I'm not sure where that's coming from. This past weekend, I also got this old homemade Santa and this little red and green old toy that someone had made a long time ago. And I thought, well, that'd be perfect for Christmas. I always love this view. This is the view from the top of the staircase. And this is our foyer, which I recently changed up. I hung the beadboard and then the peg shelf across. And I am very happy with how it turned out. Up the rails, I have put baskets this year, which was um, a lot of the reason why I wanted to put them in the tree. So when you come in the front door, you see the greenery and the baskets going up the staircase, but you also see it in our tree.
It's such a small space. Trying to film it, not the easiest. I've noticed my house has a lot of these areas. <laughs> Either I just don't know how to do it or it's because of the way the house is. Just little touches of Christmas stuck here and there. Okay, so that brings us into the living room. And the foyer. Which also brings you down to the kitchen and the dining room which are mainly the areas I decorate throughout seasons. Um, I don't really do a lot in my bedrooms or bathroom, except for that one, that one half, that one half bath does have a little bit of Christmas. But other than that, these are my main areas. I wanna thank you all for visiting and doing my Christmas home tour. And I hope you've enjoyed it and I'd love it if you would come follow me on Instagram at Isaac's Rusty Wagon where I try to share the projects that I change and work on in our house. I admit I'm not the best at remembering to get the camera out and record when I'm actually doing it, but I do show a lot of before and afters. Right off of our kitchen slash mudroom and right inside our back door is a small half bath. Um, in here we have a set of vintage lockers because one thing this house does not have is a coat closet. So these come in quite handy. And this is pretty much the only bathroom that I decorate for seasons, at least this year it is. Um, because it is the restroom seen and most used, I decided to add little touches. So I put out just some little trees, a Christmas sign, and even some little Christmas toilet paper. So just small touches stuck in here. This for my grandma when I was a little girl and when she passed away I brought it home with me.
I also want to give Holly a huge thank you for inviting me once again to be part of her home tours. And um, I really appreciate it. And I absolutely love this channel. And I have gotten so much inspiration from Holly's videos that she shares of everyone's home. So thank you, Holly. Thank you for letting me be part of this. I hope you all loved today's Christmas home tour. Let me know your favorite part in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in our next video. Bye. Thank you.